on on top. You get the eggs popped up there on top. And well, what happens there? Uh, as the alcohol burns, they heat it up the gases inside the glass, increase the volume. The egg served as a valve, sort of popping up and down. When all the oxygen in the flask was used up, the flame went out, the air in the flask cooled down, pressure in the flask decreased, and atmospheric pressure pushed the egg into the flask. Well, the question then comes up of uh, how can I get this uh, egg out of the flask without breaking the flask or the egg? One way might be to use a hair dryer to heat up the air here and increase the pressure. Since I'm uh, full of hot air this morning, I'm going to attempt to blow past the egg and literally blow it out of the flask. Here you go. Oh! <laughs> At any rate, uh, we got the uh, egg out there. We can do this demonstration in perhaps a bit more dramatic fashion. I have some uh, gelatin dessert here in my hand. We'll put it down into this uh, special uh, apparatus here. And as soon as John gets the burning uh, uh, alcohol into the flask, I'll put this on top. We'll get that put on top there. And uh, the flame went out. Let's just uh, notice what happened. Uh, the gelatin uh, it uh, distorts. I'd have to put the glass on it. I don't have a glass that shape. Now is actually I could definitely do that part uh, done it before. The gelatin dessert all the way down into the flask. It's uh, going slowly now. We uh, need a little patience. One of the things that's useful. Uh, not only in science, but other areas, and uh, I think that's just about ready to finish uh, going. And, uh, <laughs> there's a little bit more coming down, and... Okay. 